Hey guys, my name is Stefan Botanist School. We're back at it with some more Mass Effect. Let's go up. Oh my god. Poor the Jenkins. Council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. <laughs> no, we don't, sir. Amazing. Ash is like, no, we don't gotta trust politicians. Oh, if you like Mass Effect, subscribe, like, tell me down below what your opinions are on this episode and all that good stuff. Um, I feel so sus about things. Everything's so sussy. Just so sussy. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. They're all so sussy. I've heard the name Garrus before. Where have I heard it from? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. Yeah. I couldn't find anything solid. I know sense. he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Ah, oh, okay, so we can't talk too long. All right. No, I think actually, because I saw someone playing a little bit of Mass Effect 2. I don't know what the context was, but I think Garrus was in it too. He lives. That's good. Good on him. I'm so proud of him for living. Wait, where do I got to go? Oh, I think about it. Uh, all right, I got to go to the... I got to go all the way to the other side. All right, cool. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move, but the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right, though the Hanna need to lighten up. But Volus were the first to join so long ago as with an embassy. Why wouldn't they be? Why would they go after humans? This is weird. Stop bringing out your gun! The hearing's already started. Come on. <laughs> you should, you're 20 minutes late. What were you doing? Filming a 25 minute episode outside? Some concern, but there is yeah, thank you. Indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him. Is name Spartacus? Blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Why? Here's the thing. They're all going to come out relatively violent. I'm trying to be like, what's the more diplomatic approach? That's how I would play. Wordplay, changing things, kind of subtly putting things in here like... You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still that's not exactly, that's not what I want to see at all. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. 
Everything's just generally hostile. That's the thing. Like, why is it so hostile? The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It's so, like, every choice you make, even if it is all about reason and diplomacy, is extensively aggressive. Like, what the hell? I mean, this kind of feels like, you know... It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Oh my god. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Captain looks kind of pissed, but... What was I was going to say? probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Ooh, we board. talked to him a little He's while ago. An information dealer buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. God, there's so... Ah, uh, okay. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence Fair those enough. rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. And, and, and this Council right rules dozens of species, again, remember that. We just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. <laughs> oh, no, damn. Locking up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have been yeah, bad if he Yeah, fair enough. Fight. Fair a enough. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. Yeah, fair enough. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. 
What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Counselor's careful when they select, but when something does go wrong, there's usually only Send one another system. Spectre to bring Send the rogues back there, down. The it's like a spy back. fighting a spy. Oh my god, okay. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to... They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres are... The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Yep. Uh, let's do Barlavon. Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. Oh, uh, he's got one of these kind of guys. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just hap always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. All right, that's all the information I, I got. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you. All right, so I gotta go this way. Let's make a marker here so I don't lose myself. Actually, hold on. There we go. Just yum 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 all around. Perfect. And we're in the bank. Nice and easy, baby. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am I blunt, am yep. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional free! circumstances. Free! Damn, alright. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. Ooh. He used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous Spectre in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Fair enough. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him All right. if you want to know Thank more. you very much, Barla. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Ooh, that's interesting. He... Okay. Where's CSEC? I got out of CSEC. <laughs> Journal... I see the Harkin. Okay, so I gotta go. So I gotta, how do I, how do I track something? That's my question. How do I, all right. 
Um, C-Sec Academy. There's C-Sec HQ. A little rapid transport. The wards. So the rapid transport. Oh, stop. To the C Sec Academy. All right, let's go that that way. There we go. Now we're learning. Now we're learning. God, I can only run so far. <gasps> All right, yeah, we're, doing, we're going right. Okay, thought I had to go up. What are these keepers? That's keep I've the keep. I feel like five times now. I don't trust. Five times. Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Okay, so the keepers are doing something kind of sussy. And once again, I think that the keepers are not necessarily here. On their own consent? It's very suspicious. Stop taking your gun out! Please! God damn. Of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Propon Propo expanded human colonization insists that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. We got some like propaganda listing and stuff too, which is kind of really cool actually. I like that. I like that. Oh, these are the okay, cool. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Cool species, uh, design. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. Oh. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard I feel like these are like small what about Garrus, that Turian. He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, I can I can start selecting my squad. Interesting. 
So now I have multiple options of what to do. Upper wards fall lead on Saren. So let's see if I, let's go, let's go say hi to Garrus real quick. Let's go here then. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to what I so what I as a player do not know is if I have the opportunity if I have if I have to do fist and Sarah and, and, and Garen's Garrick's thing like if I have to do both of them or if, or if I only have to do one or none or whatever like I do not know so I gotta I feel like I gotta go check out everything before I do that and Garen's in the same Garen is in the upper wards. Which the lower wards are down there, so I gotta go to the upper wards med bay. Yep, alright, cool. I love how they have all these like little signs around here. That's actually like really cool. It makes you feel really immersed into the um You're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely about this. Into the uh world. has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had bum, contracted by the Helix bum, to perform bum, studies bum, with a long-range goal of oh, oh, yeah, I, I think a weird breath. Choke. Group later sued for a return of investment Why do we not have elevated no music in here? Why do we not have space elevated music? Come on. Bum, bottom, bum, 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 bottom, bum. Wait, what? Two upper wards to repar- wait, what? Wait, so how do I get the upper wards? Okay. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fizz. Through the wards. Oh my god, there's so many of these. Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with servicemen near Raleigh Batia. A devoted wife and talented chef, servicemen Batia joined the Alliance military. It's just, it's just so funny to me. And like, we're going up and down and up and down. Just so many elevators. She gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword... Courage! Oh my god, this is such propaganda bullshit. Oh my god, this is such propaganda bullshit. Alright, where do I gotta go? Parasidium, Lower Wards, Lower Mercatus, Citadel Rapid Transport, the Flux, Seasec Academy, Medic Clinic, right over there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't kid yourself. It's even bigger than it looks. How would you know? Go back up. Wrong way. Yep, 
Yeah, there we go. Meta clinic. All right, cool, 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 cool. There's a fast travel here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Whoa! Whoa, that was a gun! It did a boom! It threw a shot! Where's CSAC? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> I like Garrus. I like Garrus. No, I'm got okay. a good vibe. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they? They got a good vibe. I like Garrus. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Just like Rex told us, Commander. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Let's go with these two. That'll be a little fun. That'll be fun. It'll be a different squad. Yeah, I got a new squad, baby. I never properly think I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Stick to medicine. You're not cut out for dealing. That's good with advice. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Armor upgrade, medical exoskeleton. Oh my god, they cost so much money. That's kind of cool, actually. So let's buy one of those. All right, let's um. Get everyone's equipment real quick. So you have a Lancer. Actually, let's see everyone's freaking uh, 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 squad thing real quick. Hold on. So you... I got six points. Jesus Christ. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Garrett has ten points. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? What do you have? Assault. Everyone's really good with assault rifles. Okay. It's just so big. Oh my god. Your warp? Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's kind of sick. All right. Give you the first aid thing there. He can't take. Okay. Um, oh, can I loot the bodies? There are no bodies to loot. Well, so we have Garrus and we have Rex. 
Um. Can we just... Where am I going again? I think we're going to CSEC, right? Because we're going to... We were talking about the CSEC Academy. There we go. Okay, so... Um, I don't know where to go next. I don't know where to... Okay, you know what? Hold on. Journal. In the lower wards. Meeting my current who has proof he's working with the gaff. The lower wards would be... On the other side... God, I'm so good at video games, guys. Stop bringing out your goddamn gun. Oh my god, I swear to Christ. Alright, guys. You know what? Thank you very much for joining with me today. I have... I've had an absolute blast. And I am ready to do... Whatever it's gotta do to take down Fist and get this information on Saren because dude's a bit of a prick, obviously. And we're gonna take him down. Uh, if you like, if you like Mass Effect, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and tell me what you think about my uh, format in Mass Effect videoing. Just kind of go around, have a little fun, see what's what, and do what I gotta do. Tell me in your, tell me your opinions, alright guys? Anyways, as per the usual, stay safe, stay botanist cool, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye, everyone.